guys, welcome back to my channel. Should have been read today. I'll be doing another reading vlog. I haven't done one in quite some time now. The last few times I've done, at least not a just a chill weekend reading vlog. The last few reading vlogs I've done have been heavily focused on a theme or a series or just a readathon in general. But this time around, I kind of want to just do a vlog for my weekend and we'll see. So anyways, let's talk about the books that I really want to read during this weekend. So these are the two books I want to read during this weekend. This is the one I'm currently reading on right now. I'm on page 217. So I have made some progress for sure. I'm like halfway through with this book. But I have enjoyed this book so much. It's about this girl called Brienne or Brianna or something like that. Brianna. Who basically, it's like a society where they had these five passions. And she was basically raised in this school where she spent the last seven years trying to figure out what her passion is. And she's trying to graduate I guess and have a patron and the souls has arrived when she basically graduates and I guess she wasn't chosen by any other patron and so she is basically left without a patron and now later she ends up getting this unexpected patronage from a disgraced lord and things just happen from there and I just got to the part where she now is at this disgraced lord's place and she's trying to figure out like who this person is and exactly what's going on this whole thing about like different kingdoms there's two kingdoms magic is in one of them magic is not in the other one one kingdom is ruled by a woman always usually and the other one's ruled by a man it's really good i'm really really liking this book so far so definitely really want to read this book as soon as possible so after this one i want to pick up this book which is the last time i saw you by Liv constantine this is a mystery suspense novel and i've been on the mood for that so definitely want to pick this one up this one has something to do with her this woman who has like she's perfect life and then one day her mother is murdered and she finds a note that literally says something about how you think you're sad now just wait by the time i'm finished with you you wish you'd been buried today and then she ends up going on this investigation to find out what really happened and i don't know but this book sounds really good so far and it seems pretty short so i feel like there's a possible good possibility that i will actually be able to finish both of these books this weekend but then again fingers crossed guys fingers crossed so anyways these are the two books i want to read for this weekend i do have a lot of things i have this weekend i'm going to actually see endgame tomorrow which is kind of late but we just finished this whole marathon the past like april so tomorrow we're finally going to see endgame and then after that i had to run some errands pick up my dry cleaning do all that stuff i had to film some videos because i am leaving soon and so i just have a lot of things to do this weekend but at the same time, Sunday, I'm pretty much going to be at home all day, just doing some, like, you know, errands, like house errands, whatever. And so, hopefully, I will get a lot of reading done. So, yeah. But I'm pretty excited, guys. So far, I'm really, really enjoying this first book. It's so good. Like, I just started this yesterday, I want to say, and I'm already halfway through, so very excited. So, guys, I have been the worst. I have done zero reading since I last checked in with you guys, which was around 9 p.m., and now it is 11.30, but... I was eating dinner and then I was watching an episode of my roommate for Killing Eve, which by the way is a really good show if you haven't watched it yet. Really good show. So we're on season two now. Very excited for it. But now I am back in my room and I'm going to try to read some of this book. But I'm going to first get ready for bed, which means like washing off my makeup and everything. And then I'm going to snuggle in, read some of this, and hopefully, hopefully... I can read a good half hour, 45 minutes before I go to bed. So, very excited. But this book, honestly, is so good. I really, really like all the characters right now. There is a little bit of a teacher-student relationship that's kind of hinted, but not really explored yet. So, that might be a trigger warning for some people. I don't know. But if it is, then be on the lookout for that. But it's very subtle in the sense that nothing has actually been done. There's just a hint that there might be some sort of relationship between a teacher and a student. So, be aware. Anyways, going to get ready for bed and start reading some of this book. So I just read a little bit. I haven't read that much to be honest, but I am still reading this book. I'm currently on page 265, so I made some progress, but I'm really enjoying it a lot. I'm really, really liking the characters, specifically the main girl. She is just really cool. I really like her. And there's all these other just these plants going on because the book is also about kind of just overthrowing this kingdom or not the kingdom but the person overruling this kingdom right now there's this whole plan to overthrow that person and it's just really fascinating to see what they're trying to do to get to that point and i don't know there's a lot of stuff going on right now there's definitely some elements of magic in here that i'm curious about that's not fully explained but at the same time i'm just rolling with it and it seems to be fine it's not like it's totally unbelievable 
but it's definitely a magic that is just very different and was not really fully explained but at the same time it seems that no one really also understands it so I think it kind of works because they don't understand it and then obviously I don't understand it so it works in that aspect but anyways I'm gonna go to bed now because it's getting pretty late but I did want to update you guys for a hot second before I go to sleep. Hey guys, so I haven't really updated you guys today, but today has been really, really productive. It is now Saturday, 7 o'clock, so while I'm waiting for my food, I just ordered some food because I'm really hungry right now. I haven't eaten since 10, I want to say, and I have just been running around and doing a bunch of things, and this morning I woke up really early. I went to see the Avengers because I wanted to go early in the morning so I have the whole day free, and no spoilers, guys, but I can't decide if I like it or not. I mean, parts of me liked it, parts of me didn't, but it's all I'm going to say about the movie because because no spoilers because I know a lot of guys are really sensitive and don't want to get spoiled for this really major movie so that's all I'm going to say for the movie but I definitely am going to check online right now to see some of my theories and do some googling and all that stuff to get some answers but anyways and then after that I went straight to Bed Bath & Beyond so I can get my utility card because honestly or like a book card technically but they're filed under as utility cards and honestly I really needed that my book was just getting overwhelming and I needed a new place to actually store it so I went to get that and then I came home I literally organized my entire books the bookshelf that you normally see behind me is not like the only part that I have my books because obviously I have way more books than that so I had to basically rummage around my entire room to like sort everything and organize everything so I finally have it so much more organized now and now I'm gonna just have to do it again next month because <laughs> It's going to become, you know, like just bad in a month or two. So anyways, then I did that and then I filmed a video. So I feel kind of productive. Oh, and then I also had to pick up my dry cleaning. So productive day, guys. And it's now just 7 o'clock. So I did all of that. Not too bad. But anyways, in terms of my reading, guys, because this is the main focus of the video. But I am now on page 358. 59 and guys I am loving this book so much like no one ever talks about this book but this book is so good how come no one talks about this book I'm really liking the fantasy the magic elements all the characters like there's this one part where this identity of this person was just revealed and that just shook me I was on the train I was like oh my god when that happened it was so good like this book is just so good guys you guys should really go read this book if you guys haven't and as soon as I finish this book I really want to pick up the second but unfortunately I don't think I'll pick up the second until I get back because I'm going on a trip by the way so like I've mentioned already in my video I believe so after I come back though I definitely want to pick up the second book because this book is so good and I'm really curious to find out what happens next and I'm almost at the end by the way I have just about maybe another like 50 75 pages left so really hoping to finish this book tonight for sure but loving the book a lot it's just really really good the characters for sure are the best part and I'm really liking the plot as well just all the magic system well, it was not even the magic system but I really liking like the history element to it in the sense that it's about a girl who's kind of traveling back in time with all these memory visions and stuff like that so she's not actually physically traveling back in time but her memories are and it's just really fascinating to see and i'm enjoying this book a lot guys as of right now i highly recommend it if you haven't picked up yet i guess i'll read until the end and find out because maybe who knows the ending will be terrible but there's not that many pages left so i kind of don't think that will happen but maybe i just jinxed myself Anyways, back to reading while I wait for my food to arrive and then I will update you guys later. Guys, I just finished reading this book and this book was so good. Like, I am giving it five stars. I enjoyed every second of it. Like, the characters, all the relationships and the friendships and all that stuff developed, which is so good. I mean, there was this one type of relationship that I am kind of, like, iffy about because I don't really want to go into details, but some of it just seems a little bit shallow not in the sense that it's shallow that it wasn't I don't know how to describe it it wasn't it wasn't shallow in the sense that it was a shallow relationship per se but it was shallow in the sense that they just met and somehow that relationship just turned very deep suddenly and so I'm not so sure about that but at the same time I love the way how it did develop and just the way how everything blossomed together and that romance oh my god guys I am so down for that romance anyways I love this book so much but anyways in terms of my stats because I do have my stats here I gave this book five stars by the way it was just really good total reading time was just under three hours and 30 minutes and the reading speed was 134 pages per hour so again I would always put that here so you guys can check it out but I just love this book I'm kind of curious to find out what's going to happen in the second book because 
ending is actually incredibly satisfying. It's not like it's a cliffhanger or anything, so I'm kind of curious to find out what the author has to say more to further this story. Because I'm pretty sure, I didn't check the summary, but I'm pretty almost positive that it continues to follow Brianna's story. And so I'm really curious to find out what more the author has to say for her story. So pretty curious. Definitely going to pick it up when I get back from my trip, but this book was so good anyways now that i'm done i am in the mood for mystery thriller so i'm gonna pick up this book now the last time i saw you but live constantine and i guess i find out it's a pretty short book it's only it's just 300 pages so it's pretty short so hopefully i will get a good chunk of it done but so far how many pages have i read i started like what 200 ish yesterday and so i've read more than 200 pages already which is not bad and it's saturday evening and it's not even that late it's like Oh, it's like 9. Okay, it's not even that late still. It's like 9 something, so it's not that bad. But anyways, back to reading, and I will update you guys later once I've started a little bit of this book. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday, and I just took a shower, as you can obviously tell. But I really wanted to give this an update before I go grab some food to eat. In terms of reading, though, I did read some of this book last night. I'm currently on page 55, so I've definitely made... I'm like one sixth of the way done with this book. I'm really hoping that I get to finish this book today because including that 50 so pages, I want to say I read about 250 pages since I started this vlog Friday evening, so not too bad. I'm really hoping I get to finish this book today though, so it'll be a solid 500 page read, hopefully. We'll see. But in terms of this book though, it's interesting. I like the mystery. The mystery is definitely the most fascinating part of this book, but I think the way how the author is kind of info dumping the beginning of the book, because she's giving you so many hints and clues and just obviously a lot of, she's like setting the scene, right? So there's a lot of information. And so the way how she's info dumping it, it's kind of choppy because there are so many times when I'm just getting a little bit confused. And she also tends to drop a lot of names that I think are not very important. For example, she will drop some of her coworker's name and I don't even think they're really important because it's about the co-workers who are going to take like do her work while she's not there like do we need to know that like do we really need to know all these names and so the actually important names i'm getting confused because there's just so many names being introduced and it's just very confusing overall like i'm just kind of overwhelmed by the number of people in this book right now especially because a lot of them are not at all important and then she'll also go into the backstory about some of them for example there was this banker or this like financial person who does of the will of the mother who passed away and she literally just gave a backstory of the guy who does the banking and i'm just like okay i get that you guys are childhood friends but is that really necessary like do we really need to know this so a lot of the stuff that she's providing the information i just don't think is really necessary i mean who knows maybe that background of that banker will be really important later on but as of right now it's just not important to me and i'm just like I'm just overwhelmed guys but i am really fascinated with the actual murder and the mystery of that as well because i do have a suspect in mind already but whether or not it's that person i don't know because obviously i'm only like one sixth of the way in but i kind of am leaning towards because i feel like if it is it's gonna be super cliche i really hope it's not I hope it's gonna be something completely plot twisty so i guess i'll find out but anyways i will continue reading and after i eat my food because i just went to the gym hence washing my hair and then I'm going to do my videos, start packing, and then all that stuff, and I'll check in with you guys later. So guys, I have been lying in bed all day. It's so not good, but I was really productive until like 2, and now it is almost 6, and I have basically been doing nothing. I've just spent the past few hours on my phone, like looking on YouTube, watching booktube videos, on Instagram, and just, ugh, I feel like I just... I feel like every time I do that, I waste so much time. But anyways, I did manage to read up to page 151. So I'm about right in the halfway mark right now. And it's pretty good. There's definitely a lot of more suspects i think now or at least there's more clues now where i feel like i can suspect more people so end of the day there's really not that many people i'm suspecting but i think if i like really want to narrow it down there are two people now that i think could possibly be the culprit and yeah i guess i'll find out but the biggest issue for me so far in this book is just the fact how the author is introducing all these hints i just don't like the way how she is just name dropping everything because i just feel so confused when there's just so many names given all of a sudden and then also the way how she just goes back onto people's history just i don't think it's really necessary and so she's definitely still doing that and i'm just really hoping that 
that will kind of go away after a little while when things start to actually like come together and things are starting to be revealed but another thing that I forgot to mention is that this book is actually told in two POVs. One is Kate who is like the main person, the woman whose mother was just murdered. And then the second POV is Blair and that's her best friend from way back when. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm kind of liking Blair right now just because she is very much gung-ho about trying to solve the mystery as well. And the funny thing is it would be more interesting if it was her because... You know, she's the one solving the mystery and it's her, but uh, honestly, it can be anyone. Like, it can be Kate herself, you know what I mean? Like, there's just so many elements to it that is coming into light and honestly, end of the day, you can suspect anyone. Literally anyone can be a suspect. So, anyways, I'm going to continue reading this book a little bit and hopefully I get to finish it today. I mean, it's not that difficult of a read. It's actually kind of fast, so we'll see. Hey guys, so I thought I should give you guys a quick update before I head to sleep soon-ish. Or at least get ready to go to bed so i'm still reading this book obviously i have now reached 197 so basically i have reached the 200 page mark give or take a few pages so it's been pretty good i have about 100 pages left and so far i'm enjoying it the mystery is definitely very suspenseful i really want to know who did it i definitely have two suspects right now that are kind of glaringly obvious for me and i'm really hoping that it's not two of them because like either one of them because then you know no plot twists because i hate like for thriller the mystery part of me enjoy being right but the bigger part of me enjoy being caught off guard and i prefer that obviously because that shows that the author did a really good job of keeping the plot twisty but obviously still making it like make having it make sense you know if it's like randomly just like some random person then i'm like okay well that's kind of a cheat because you didn't mention this person at all because i've read a book where that happened before where the author just decided to like pluck someone completely random as the culprit and i'm just like okay so I'm really hoping that this book would not be like that and it will actually be very plot twisty and it would not be one of the two people that I am imagining it to be but who knows to be honest. But anyways, I'm going to continue reading a little bit more before I go to bed and then I will update you guys tomorrow when I finish this vlog. This vlog for the most part is going to be very chill. I mean, I honestly haven't really done much this weekend other than yesterday when I went to see Endgame and stuff like that but to be honest, this weekend has just been really chill. i just been reading and cleaning my room and organize all my stuff because i really need to organize it was just a little bit way too out of hand so i will update you guys tomorrow hey guys so it is now monday evening which means i'm going to be ending the reading vlog now and i managed to by the time i went to bed last night i managed to read a little over 200 pages i want to say but today during my commute i did bring this book with me and i did manage to finish on my way back so i figured i'd just take a really brief time to just talk about my feelings with this book and everything and all I can say is that as a thriller mystery novel, it definitely did its job because I was only half correct in my assumptions and suspicions in the beginning and I'm glad that I was only half right because it did leave room for me to be surprised because there was a plot twist at the end that I, okay, at some point I think part of me was thinking that perhaps it was this person but I had other things going on and so I just didn't really fully explore that avenue there. But at the end though, I still was really surprised by how it ended. There's a lot of elements to it and the way how it ended for this person as well was just really crazy. I was not expecting that at all, just bonkers. So the ending definitely came out of nowhere, I want to say. Like the ending in terms of who the actual person was, who the suspect was, who did everything, in terms of what happened to them, in terms of what happened to other people, like their connections of everything, just really, really plot twisty so as a mystery thriller novel it definitely did its job but in terms of its writing i still think the writing is not the greatest so i think i ultimately will give this book three and a half stars i was going to say maybe four stars because the last part really did surprise me and for mystery thriller that's really all you can ask for is just to be surprised and caught off guard but the writing style really did bring that down a little bit because it was just not the best writing i want to say it was a little choppy especially in the beginning there's a lot of info dumping and i was not really on board with that for a lot of times so it definitely took me some time to understand what was going on especially because the author would just jump a lot from literally like one paragraph or something between paragraphs about this flashback and some sort of like information in terms of this person and that person's history and their past together so i think because of that i do want to give this book three and a half stars so Unfortunately, Bookly does not give you half star ratings, so I did average up to make it four stars. But I do have the stats here for those who are curious. So according to my stats, I gave this book four stars, but really three and a half stars. Pages read was 320. Total reading time was three and a half, just over three hours actually, three hours and ten minutes. And the average reading speed per, like in pages per hour, was 101 pages. So 
pretty good actually not bad so anyways that was the second book that i finished and then of course i did also finish the queen's resistance this was so good five out of five stars for sure i loved it so much i definitely want to pick up the second book as soon as possible if you like magic if you like romances if you like betrayal and a coup and very strong female characters as well because this book is about two kingdoms one is just your standard like kingdom of guys in charge etc the other one is actually a magical kingdom and the person in charge is always a queen usually and then that queen also has magic so it's like really interesting in that sense that that kingdom the females are actually the dominant ones every male will defer to the females which i really really like so i really really like that book it's so good if you're looking for a great ya fantasy book then i definitely recommend that one so anyways these are two books that i read this weekend and not a bad weekend overall if i didn't count today's reading then i read about 400 ish pages i want to say give or take a few pages there so not too bad especially because i was running a bunch of errands i want to see end games on saturday all that stuff so not too bad of a reading but anyways that's basically it for my reading vlog for this weekend let me know down below if you have read any of the two books that i picked up this weekend if you have did you like them did you not like them if you haven't which one do you want to pick up like which one has piqued your interest to pick it up possibly in the future but as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe down below don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram i'll see you guys next time bye